All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. <clears throat> this is the brother Shakwat Raka coming from the Company of Prophets Camp. That is out here in Tampa, Florida. And first and foremost, before we start this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rachakadash, Yahweh. And Yahweh Shah being the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Only Begotten Son. And I also want to give double honors unto the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who teach this truth and ruleth well. And today, um, you know, Lord willing, I'm going to title this lesson. You know, um, World War III is going to result in thermonuclear fire, man. You know, because... Um, Made me want to touch up on it. You know, I be getting, um, I got the news break out. <clears throat> and, you know, Putin's just been, you know, making these threats and stuff. Setting out these warnings. You know, and they got nukes, man. You know, they got their, um, military def defense system, I want to say. They got their nuclear missiles, you know, and their, um, their armies, man. And they, they ready to go to war. You know, with America, man. You know, they're not fucking off. And um, the Lord's using that dude, you know, Vladimir Putin. Because um, I'm going to say about a month ago, a couple weeks ago, uh, me and the brother, Taz Yarm, you know, in, in my camp, um, we did a video on, um, in an interview, Putin was basically saying uh, America could um, basically be wiped out in one hour. <clears throat> and which that's in the scriptures, and Lord willing, I grab it, you know. But that's in the scriptures, though. America would be wiped off in one hour, and how how would that be? <laughs> and the result of that thermonuclear fire, and you know, we in on we only in March, <clears throat> which to me, it was just January, so it flew by fast. But we only in the third month of the year, according to Esau's timing. You know, we had into um, Passover, which this is the timing of the real new year. But, um, you know, these past three months, ever since the year 2024 started, a, a lot of shit's been going on. A lot of prophecies been shaking up and World War Three was brewing up. You had, um, you know, you got what you got um, Russia, and Ukraine, you got Israel, Hamas, and you got um, U.S. and Yemen. And, you know, you just got Russia talking about. World Wars, man. Well, they talk about nuclear missiles. That's all they talk about is nukes, nukes, nukes. And Putin keeps sending, making these messages and sending these warnings. But let me grab this real quick. This is on um, Revelation 11 and 14. It says, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And when that, that second woe is referring to World War II, which took place um, almost 70 years ago. I'm, you know... Almost 70 something years ago. I believe it's 79 years ago from now, maybe 80 or 79. But it took almost about 70 years ago. That was not that long. You probably have some soldiers, <laughs> you know, they go to shit now, but you probably have a lot of those soldiers that still alive today, man. And that's not that that's not too long ago, man. You got World War Three just Brewing up in which the brother of ball, he has a saying, the World War Three is going to be the war of all wars. It's going to be, there ain't, ain't going to be no World War Four. <laughs> ain't going to be no damn World War Five, World War Ten. It's going to stop at World War Three, man. You know, it's going to be the war of all wars, man. And it's going to result in thermonuclear fire, which I'm going to grab that. It's Isaiah 9 and 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. And which we know, you go into the ancient times, like, um, you know, the Vikings, the, the Spartans, you know, back in the ancient times when they fought and went to war and battled out, they had swords and shields. Um, what else? They had bows, bow and arrows. And then they, they was thumping with their hands. Then you had the cannon, the cannons, and then, you know, over the time, you know, the sword got more advanced and it came to the um the gun. You know, World War II, they had the gun, the cannons, 
Well, they had a, I don't know, they had the cannons around like World War One, I, I believe, or whatever. But, you know, this war is going to be fought with thermonuclear fire, man. <laughs> this is going to result in thermonuclear fire. And once the scripture says, I'm going to grab it, you know, um, this place, America, you know, as the Lord says, um, he giveth his servants the prophet. I'm going to grab it real quick. I don't want to um, butcher it. I was about to butcher it. This is, um, come on, this is Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord, Yahweh, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And there you go. That's what I was trying to quote. He revealeth the secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And, you know, if you understand the scriptures, which the Lord got to bless you with, you know, the, the water, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, you know, you'll understand that Babylon is America. America is in the Bible, which is, is Babylon. When you go into that word Babylon, it goes into um confusion, man. And this place produces nothing but confusion, man. Nobody knows what restroom to use. Nobody knows their gender. It's, it's, it's just backwards, man. Women rule over men. Men want to be women. Women want to be men. I didn't damn near see no book dyke today, man. It's nothing but confusion. But we understand this place is going to get hit with um 200 thousand thousand put that in your calculator man 200 200 million nuclear missiles are coming to this place and you know this place never really got hit it never really had no um when it came to wars and stuff it never got hit with no battles which let me grab this real quick i think it's 47 there we go this is uh, this is isaiah 47 and one come down and sit in the dust O virgin daughter of Babylon, which virgin daughter of Babylon is referring to Babylon because this place hasn't really been touched, man. It says, sit on the ground. There is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt be no more called tender and delicate. And which these proud ass Americans, you tell them about World War, they, they put their pride in Donald Trump, man. You know, I'm a, I'm a Trump supporter. I support Biden. I support Trump. I support my country. America, nobody's going to touch this place. That's the mindset of these Babylonians. This place can't be touched because, you know, America always was on top. America was always the top dog. You know, they were feared, but Russia always been the, like the threat to them, man. America was the big bully, <laughs> and Russia is about to bully their ass. Okay? You know, their allies going to come. America's allies going to turn on them, man. You know, these other countries, they had enough of this place, man. But, you know, America always had the strong military might. But now we're here in 2024. It's bad, bro. America doesn't have no damn military might, bro. All you got is bull dykes. You got big Keisha's, big Shirley, big black and burly. You got fucking Jerome's and Tyrone's. <laughs> The fucking gun jamming on them and shit. And you got transmissions out here. We got to use code words. These devils to take the video down. But you got transmissions walking around here freely, man. And they sending them off the war, man. The fuck? They, that's why the scripture says, I'm let the weak say I am strong. This place is looked at as a joke now, man. Damn near, I'm going to say, I 15 years, I'm going to say 15 years ago, you couldn't even make a, a bad statement towards this place, man. But these other countries, they, Russia's giving them nuclear missiles, and they're looking at America like a joke, because it is a joke, man. But, um, what was that? Back to Isaiah 9 and 5, for every battle of the warriors with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Okay, so back in the ancient times, they fought with swords, bow and arrows, you know, they thumped with their hands. They had shields. But World War Three is referring to, this is going to be fought with thermal nuclear fire, man. They don't have these, these... these. You think Russia got these nuclear missiles to be fucking museum monuments? You think they're just going to be sitting there looking pretty? No, they're getting put to use. And these really the Lord's missiles, man. The Lord's just using Russia and these other countries to shoot them off at America, man. But, um, damn, I was, oh, 200,000, 
quoted it, 200,000. Just to show you, bear with me, Baba Shah, you know he in his flesh, so you know where it's at. <laughs> there we go. You know where it's at, but you be forgetting. We in his damn flesh. But this Revelation 9 and 16, it says, The number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. I heard the number of them. And it's referring to the nuclear missiles. And that's how 200,000 thousand, 200 million, in which that army of the horsemen is referring to the nuclear missiles. In which it says 200,000 thousand. So 200 million nuclear missiles are spoken of in the book of Revelation to hit this place, Babylon, a.k.a. America, man. Okay, 200 million nuclear missiles are coming to hit America, man. Once we have World War Three, you see it brewing up. It's going to result in thermonuclear fire, man. I was thinking about, um, oh, con. Is it 54? Con. This is um Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy, in which we know um, the Lord blessed Esau with the sword. You know, the Lord blessed Jacob, you know, that everlasting salvation, man. You know, the blessing. You know, but the Lord blessed this devil Esau with the sword. This is temporary, man. But the Lord blessed, blessed Jacob with something that's going to last forever, man. You know? But, um, you know, and they got this saying in the world, um... You live by the gun, you die by the gun, or like you live by the sword, you die by the sword. And once the Lord put a spirit on these um, you know, these scientists to create these um nuclear missiles, you know, he put a spirit on them to make it. And this those they created this shit, you know, through the spirit, and through the spirit, the nuclear missiles gonna destroy the ass, man. They built it up just to destroy themselves, man. They're gonna die by this sword, man. <laughs> But um, let me grab something I was thinking about. Um, actually, let me grab this. You can close it out. I didn't want to make this lesson too long, but Yahweh desire. I pray this lesson be edifying. But um, it says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night." And you know the scriptures talk about, you know, our Lord. You know, the Messiah, the only begotten son, makes his return. You know, the um, book of Matthew, I come not to send peace, but a sword. Um, in the book of Isaiah, uh, I came to plead with all flesh. So it doesn't sound all loving. You know, Lord's coming back, you know, with destruction, man. But it's a balance. And the Lord does everything in a balance, man. You know, he's also coming with his mercy. But it's going to be more people that's going to be destroyed than more people that's going to be saved. And these Christians will tell you everybody can be saved. The Lord is all loving, da da da. Where the fuck I'm gonna find that in the scriptures, man? But it says, um, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So when you least expect it, man. And the um scripture also says in Amos, um, warn to you that desire the day of the Lord. <laughs> you know, which we want the day of the Lord to come, but we also we we're gonna be fucking scared. These, these people don't know the Lord is coming back with destruction, man. Ain't going to be no damn VIP invitations and, and fucking liquor bottles and shit, man. There's going to be a lot of death, man. A lot of people in that fire. <laughs> but it says, In the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And if you think about it, everything is made of elements, man. These trees... Your houses, your cars, you know, these buildings, even us. Lord said, so the elements shall melt with fervent heat. How it's going to melt with fervent heat? With them thermonuclear missiles hit this place, man. When they hit this place. It says, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. When the scriptures talk about, it'll be um, burnt up. This place will be destroyed in one hour, basically. And, you know, this, um, it took almost, what, 400 years or something for this place to be built up? 
And in one hour, the Lord's going to take this place down, man. If that's not true power, man. <laughs> in one hour, bro. That's damn near fucking... That's less than a whole Super Bowl game. That's like two quarters of a Super Bowl game, man. By halftime, before halftime. Think about that. Before halftime, this place would be destroyed, man. <laughs> That's scary, man. And I mean, and this place been, we built this place up. You know, like the Israelites consisted of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We built this place up, man. And then, you know, I, we, I be riding around, walking around and shit, you know, going around out, going out. And you'll see Issachar, they was building, you probably ride past a place, you ride past a place the same, you know, the couple times and like a month go by. Damn, they've been building them apartments. They still working on them stair steps. They should have been done by now. That was like a month. Lord's going to take this place out in one hour, bro. Everything and everyone is going to be burnt up here, man. If if you're not the elect, you're going to be destroyed. You're going to be burnt here, man. All you heathens, all you Edomites and all you heathens, and you two-thirds, man. But it says, um, verse 11, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved... What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And right now we in liberty. We tell you all these things. You know, you, you if you paying attention to what's going on, yo, it's a lot going on, bro. A lot of prophecy. Like, there's just so much shit going on right now. And if, and the Lord is sending out his men to warn you of these things. Warn you of that. Jacob's trouble. The MOTB. World War Three. And, you know, in liberty... Throughout this time, what manner of persons are you to be knowing that America's going to be destroyed, bro? This society's going to collapse. All our hell is going to break loose. What kind? What manner of person are you to be? Should you be working on trying to get a fucking 360 deal? Should you be trying to work on trying to get into the NBA? <laughs> no, man. You should be serving the Lord, man. Hoping to be saved throughout the times we come into. That's all we doing. You know, we could put on the hope for elect, but we don't know if we're going to be saved. We're just hoping to be saved, man. That's why we're doing this, man. We got to warn you, man. You got to get right while you can, man. You don't want to be in that fire, man. But that's pretty much it. You know, your high right desire. I pray this lesson has been edifying to whoever was watching. This lesson was edifying unto you. It'll be edifying to the hopeful elect and to the Akium, to the Aqua that's tuning in. And once again, before I close out, I want to give all honor and glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechakadash. And once again, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who teach this truth. And ruleth well. And with that, I'm going to say, 